We knew every time we took a ride that if we died, we died. Was there fear among you and your friends when you went out or a fear that maybe you weren't doing the right things or going to the right places that, that you would be stopped by police or harassed? Oh, you would be stopped, but you had to, if they tell you to move, for instance, if you got on a metro bus and a white person wanted your seat, they could insist that you move and go to the back of the bus because that part was for black people. And if you didn't do what they said, you would be arrested. So that was always, you had to do it or you pay consequences. At 21, Betty Daniels Rosemond, then Betty Daniels, decided to leave school at LSU to join the Freedom Riders. I went through some of the training. One of the girls slapped me and almost knocked me down, but that was part of your training to see if you would retaliate, and you couldn't retaliate. Betty and four others went on a freedom ride from New Orleans to Mobile, Alabama, just days after another group's bus was bombed. On the way back, when we got to a little town in Mississippi, now freedom riders were testers. Their job was to test the facilities to see if they were now following the law. My job was to make a phone call. When I got off and went over to the phone booth, a truck of men, a pickup truck, white men, pull up at the little bus station. They literally dragged Frank and the three girls out, put them in the back of the truck, and drove off. Now, I knew if they found me, it would have been another lynching that night. All of this because you were black? Of course. Everything was because of that. I mean, if you were black, it was, you just didn't stand a chance. And here we sit today in 2021. We've had our first black president. No. We have had our first female and black and South Asian vice president. How do you feel about where we are today? Oh, I feel good. I really do. Good to know that people were still willing to try to see that change will come. Mm -hmm. And there are still people who risk their life to see that this happens. And do you feel that we have achieved or are close to the dream that Dr. King spoke of? You know, we have work to do. It ain't over till God says mm -hmm. it's over. The Bible tells us this. We must love each other, love our neighbor as ourselves. We are compelled to love one another. And there, that's what's missing in the world today. Of course, it was my complete honor to speak with Miss Betty and sit down with her. And today, the 81 year old who just recently stopped working, I might add, last year, still speaks to audiences about the work they did and the hope for a better future. Now, she plans to release a book of her poetry soon, and she says what drove her then and what should drive us all now is to be the change we want to see in the world. And to see more of our conversations in our history and hope series, you can go to Project Community section of WLWT.com. Yeah, another great addition to that one. Nice job, Ashley.